So this is the vermicompost that I harvested from the two uh, cocoon bins about a month or so ago. It, I've been letting it dry out slowly uh, because it was very wet when I uh, combined the contents of both bins. There was also a very pungent odour to it um, where it had one of the bins had become quite acidic and uh, anaerobic. So slowly over the last month I've been letting this dry out and as you can see now the texture is very different to what I took out of the bins. It's uh, quite crumbly it's quite loose. It has a very pleasant earthy smell to it now, which is a good indication that the Actinomycetes bacteria are active in the bin. The, there's still some large uncomposted lumps here, which um, I'm not going to sift out. This bin is still uh, on, a, on a microbe level. It's very active. There's uh, billions of uh, mesophilic bacteria. Uh, working away on this bin still breaking things down along with the actinomycetes and uh, this, this is a pip I think from a, a mango seed so they'll get to work on that over time I'm in no rush with this bin so I'll probably let it continue as it is for maybe three months before I um, call it, a, it before I call it a day on this bin um, so overall, very happy with it, but the key is to dry it out very slowly. Um, if you dry it out too quickly, uh, the large uh, lumps, which uh, are still quite wet, will dry into what's jokingly referred to as vermiconcrete, rock-hard lumps, which is not, not, not very useful, really. So there's the temperature, yep, 22, 23 degrees. Um, that will probably stay at that temperature for another month or so. Um, I'll keep an eye on it, I'll aerate it, um, but pretty much that's it. And I'll probably do an update in another month just to see how this spin is getting on.